good morning welcome back to a new vlog what is this what am i doing welcome back to a new vlog it is oh, what day is it hang on according to my diary it's thursday and we already know it's going to be a good day because my air wrap curls actually lasted overnight i actually did this right before i went to bed so i had zero hope for it lasting um but it's not okay it's not okay i haven't brushed it out at all yet so i will be doing that in a second because it does look a little bit um interesting i wanted to come on and say good morning i have actually tried the past two days to start a vlog each day and it hasn't worked but today i'm determined and this is going to work out for me it's just very grey at the moment and number one the footage just looks terrible all the time because we're basically living life in the dark i don't know what it is because december actually has the darkest day of the year but january always feels worse when i'm vlogging like darker i guess because the weather actually gets gloomier and there are less dry days so some days the cloud is so thick in the uk that we actually it just feels like there is no daylight and um, it's about to start peeing it down again i can hear it on the windows so enjoy that little bit of asmr yeah that definitely doesn't help with uh feeling inspired to create content being chatty because uh, my mood is definitely very affected by the weather it's probably my most annoying trait i really have to try and push through it yesterday was actually a dry day uh however i took my mum shopping with me i was meant to go shopping on my own but um i thought it'd just be nice to hang with her i asked her if she wanted to come with me but forgot how distracted i get if i'm with someone else because i talk to someone else instead of talking to you guys so big fail completely my fault not my mum's fault if anyone thinks that that is like me being mean i'm not it's my fault she was actually hilarious i have some vlog footage like she gave us a full-on tutorial on how to use the self-checkouts uh at zara <laughs> she's actually hysterical how clever this is she wants to help put, put them in there first no. oh, okay right. <laughs> i turn it that way put it in there Are you keeping your finger on it when you bring it like that and then you, you get left with this which is really very dangerous so a bit stressed. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when you finish, that happens. That's what I was laughing at. Isn't that clever? Yeah. It knows you've finished. Okay. Nice. 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 I hope you all enjoyed mum's tutorial on how to use the self-checkout at Zara. The highlight of her week. <laughs> this is what happens when you retire. <laughs> it's just probably the highlight of my day. She's just so funny. Like, she thought it was so ingenious that she was like hysterically laughing and um, so yeah i had a really good time but unfortunately didn't vlog a lot though my day was completely signed sealed delivered made by uh that was a very weird reference and i don't know if everyone's gonna get that anyway what was i saying oh yeah what sealed me it being the best day for me was that this dog came up to me in starbucks and just like sat next to me you guys i've made a friend oh my god hello he's just literally come and sat next to me you're so cute i love when animals like gravitate towards me it's my favorite thing um because i actually enjoy their company more than i enjoy the company of people anyway i actually have a little boots haul uh, for you guys because I went to Boots. I needed to pick up one thing and came out with quite a lot of stuff But there's actually something I've wanted for a really long time. That I managed to get my hands on as well So very happy about that. Oh my, I've just realized my settings. I wonder why I looked so ghostly. There we go You can see skin Unfortunately, I've got a spot and it really hurts. My first spot in four months Sad times. Can't complain though. Yeah, so I have some things from Boots to show you so i'll show you those in a minute but right now i actually really need to get ready because i am going to go out with ryan we're going to go get starbucks oh, oh it's just raining so badly i don't want to get ready no we're gonna do this we're gonna do this i didn't realize how crusty my face was i'm sorry no one needed to see that Okay, I am ready to go. I have just used a new mascara, right? And it is so good. It's this one that I'm holding in my hand. I'm gonna show you it tomorrow morning so you can see. I make a right pig's ear of it when I apply it, like it gets so messy. I actually put it on before I put on eyeshadow or eyeliner because I make that much mess, but it's worth it. Look at them, they're so 
long. On that note, I still need to show you what I got from Boots. So here we go. Let's try and do this before Ryan tells me we have to leave. Firstly, I was helping my mum with some skincare bits. Um, I was raving about the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 balm thingy because she has very, very similar skin to me. And I was like, listen, I think you're gonna really get on with this. Um, and there was something else that I was recommending to her. And whilst we were browsing the, sorry, bits of, these bits of fringe are just ruining my life. Whilst we were browsing, I saw this, and I remember I used to love this. So I picked it back up just to use in the morning before I go in with like all of my serums and my moisturizer because it's got like zinc sulfate and it's very like good for like clearing the skin, that kind of thing, but also like hydrating as well because it's a mist and it just feels so refreshing. So I think over the summer, I'm gonna rinse that. I picked up another one of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro uh, powder foundations. This one I got in a slightly lighter shade than my other one, because my other one I was using back in the summer and it's actually slightly unnecessary now. So I got light 25 neutral. I think I'm 27 neutral at the moment. So I picked up another one of that because I love it that much. But I wanted to get a loose powder and I have seen everyone talking about the Huda Beauty powder. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. However, I don't know if this is the right shade because they had like minimal testers out on show. Um, I can't get into it. We're gonna use it tomorrow. I'll give it a go, I'll see how it works. I'm praying it's not too dark because I accidentally used one that was too dark the other day. And then the center of my face was basically like darker than the outside and it was terrible and I had to take all of my makeup off and start again. Not a great makeup day for me. I also picked up this from YSL. I have wanted to try this since it launched and it's just always something I forget about. Like I just don't find the YSL counter and boots to be very like pulling you in. So I just find it quite like forgettable, but I love YSL and I love YSL makeup. As you guys will have known, I used to use it literally. Like it was just a staple in my makeup bag. Like half the makeup bag would be, would be YSL makeup. And I haven't tried this since it launched. So I'm excited to try it. It's the YSL Bare Look Tint. I got shade four, so let's hope again that that is a good shade match because um, I feel like that's right up my skin street at the moment. Like I like to use a fair bit of concealer and then just kind of go over the top with like a tint. Like I'm really enjoying the um, It Cosmetics CC cream at the moment as well. On that note, I've wanted this It Cosmetics brush for so long and they finally have one in stock. It's huge. I'm hoping it's the right one. I lined it up, it looked about right, but we'll see. Look at how big this is. Kind of wanna like see what it's like for foundation, but it's meant to be for powder, but I just love how big it is. I feel like it would be really great if you really wanted to quickly blend in like a tinted moisturizer. I also picked up this from Huda Beauty. It's the lip liner in Pinky Brown. I love a lip liner. I just love a lip liner. Um, and I wanted to try something new and I remember you, I used to, why is this not coming out? Um, I remember I used to love the Huda Beauty liners seriously why is this not coming out like are you glued in there what is happening finally i think this might be like a good shade for me i'll show you fully tomorrow i've just kind of lined my lips not fully put it over but that is that is very nice i've now just ruined the tiktok that if you see me doing my tiktok haul holding it like this you know why. I also picked up these because me and Ryan just have a lot of fun with these face masks. And um, this one was like a duo pack. So I picked up both of them. If you've seen these in my TikToks and you wondered what the hell they are, they're from Dr. Jar. They're the cryo rubber. Um, and this is the so cool duo pack. I want them to bring these out in more colors. Like I would love for them to do a pink one, gold one, a lilac would be so cool. Dr. Jar. If you're watching, let's do a collab. I would love to do like a really fun little weird face mask with you. That would be great. So that is what I picked up from Boots. I will showcase a few of the bits tomorrow when I do my makeup. Um, but I think right now, yeah, I need to go. Let's go get coffee. I know, I know. I got an ice drink in the winter. I am psychotic. But it tastes so good. This is an iced caramel macchiato with soy milk. I hope it has soy milk. I always get really scared when I go to Starbucks that they have ignored my milk choice. I just love the caramel syrup, although they, I don't feel like 
they, you wouldn't get this in London, it would be pretty, but screw it. Good morning everybody, it is Friday. I am very happy about that. This week has gone so quickly. I've actually had a very good working week. I'm definitely out of my like post Christmas holiday funk. What is, what have, how have I, I can't see anything. Let's try that again. I'm definitely out of my post Christmas holiday funk, which makes me very happy. I think I've must have filmed like 17 TikToks so far this week. I'm very proud of myself. I'm back on it. I've let my grudge go. I'm fickle. I don't stay mad for long. Unless you're one of my exes, in which case um, I will be mad forever. This morning I have been cleaning the house like honestly i've never cleaned so fast and so frantically in my life there's something about like i'm having a friend over later so this this does benefit me but there's something about when ryan has sessions if they're if it's a girl vocalist or just a girl in general don't have to be a vocalist but like if it's a female producer or a female vocalist i don't know what it is but i suddenly turn into like a cleaning freak and the house needs to be immaculate the boys come over i don't care i do not care but girls whole different story i feel like we notice more things you know i just get scared so yeah i've been cleaning the house like crazy this morning but i'm really glad i've done it now because it feels really fresh and i can just like get on with my working day and it always makes me happier vlogging if the house is like immaculate as well um like it has not been really since ryan moved in because like two people's worth of mess is really hard for me to just be tidying every single day so um i haven't I, it hasn't been as ima it hasn't been as tidy as it would normally be just realized i kind of blended that out more than i meant to i wanted to do the whole underpainting thing today where i do everything and then put my contour and then put my tinted moisturizer over the top it's fine we can double up as i was saying it's friday i'm very much looking forward to the weekend but also this evening because i'm seeing my friend lucy this evening um not a lucy that you guys will have met i have many lucys the world seems to given the fact it's not one of the most popular um birth names of our generation because i have googled this because it's such a weird phenomenon in my life um lucy isn't one of the most popular names of like any of the generations like the years born around me i don't believe but i can't tell you i've never had a year in my life where i haven't had at least a couple of Lucy's as friends. It's the most bizarre thing. So yeah, I have another one um, and I'm seeing her tonight and I'm really looking forward to it. Just a nice few hours of girly time is exactly what I needed. I'm also very happy today because the sun is out and it's a lot warmer than it has been and a lot less rainy than it has been so far over the past couple of weeks. So I'm actually wearing an outfit today. I have an outfit to show you that isn't like sweat. If you've watched this channel for more than five minutes, you'll know I am absolutely ecstatic about that. It may have been slightly too much concealer, Suze. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add blush. I'm gonna go in quite heavy because we're going over the top of it. I love this little hourglass blush 
brush and blush i love this little hourglass brush for blending blush blends everything so nicely i don't feel like i've done that evenly oops need a bit more there this blush is the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade bliss it's so nice i think it's one of those shades that if you have a skin tone similar to mine or even lighter even a little bit darker it just looks so lovely it's just such a lovely peachy kind of light neutral shade i've obviously i've gone way over the top because i'm about to go over it but it can be you can apply it really sheer and it's just really beautiful um so i'm gonna go in with the ysl uh new bare look tint in the shade four i'm gonna try it on a really fluffy brush i'm really excited about this i'm not gonna use too much just pumped literally a tiny amount onto the back of my hand because I don't know, I don't even know what the consistency is like. I'm going to start for my forehead and just, oh, the baby hairs, they are wild, look at them. Is there any way to like tame them? I suppose you have to have them like lasered off or something. Oh, no, not for me. Oh, that's so nice. This is the gorgeous thing about underpainting. It just makes everything look so seamless. Underpainting is definitely something that if you are more of a minimal makeup lover you should try i see a lot of like the girls on tiktok that love heavy makeup and they're like but it's just taken away like everything that i wanted to be there but for me that i don't like this like i prefer it to be a bit more not natural but like natural if that makes sense like you can't tell where things start and finish like i love making makeup look like it's all melted in together it's just so subtle and i'm obsessed also i really like this brush for blending in that is so quick wow get the it cosmetics powder brush for blending in your foundation that is gorgeous if i wanted a heavier application i used to have the tart brush which is so good it's like a giant thick kabuki brush but it's much more dense so i would say it's better if you want like a heavier application i want to test the huda beauty powder but i don't want to take away from too much of what i've just done because the skin actually looks so nice i really like that ysl tint like it's just added the most gorgeous glow to my skin so i'm just gonna go in under my eye literally just here and then maybe a little bit here, just to sharpen that up and forehead basically yeah i'm just gonna do my whole face that smells so good that cannot be good for my face i think i can hear a car pulling into the driveway so if i disappear it's because someone's at the door oh wow that powder is nice be right back <sighs> okay sorry i have been gone for a lot longer than this just seemed lauren came to pick up some things and then ryan's session started so i've just kind of been waiting for the kind of intro of that like this is so weird why am i telling you this so they like come in and like do teas and coffees and everything and um yeah i've just kind of been waiting for that to like chill but i can't complain because it means i get a tea and i love it when people make me hot drinks it's the best thing and one fact about me is i make a terrible cup of tea so it's like extra special when i get made a cup of tea because it always actually tastes good so love the powder um i do think i went in slightly heavy i just don't think i need to bake I don't have the type of skin, even though I'm oily in the center, I actually don't need to bake that heavily. So I think I could have just taken like a little fluffy brush. My powder brush is looking not so fluffy at the moment. <laughs> Needs washing. Um, but I could have just taken a little fluffy brush and used it. And I think it would be stunning. It's a really good powder. Um, so what is it called again? The, oh God, I need to knock, knock that tea over. The Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And I've got the shade Banana Bread, which is so good. I'm so happy with the shade match. Um, and I've also, by the way, just put a little bit of lip liner on if I look slightly different um, because I realised I looked like I was slightly unwell during the winter. Like my lips, I think this is quite normal, quite common. Your lips like swell when it's like hot and cold or they unswell when it's cold. Um, but my top lip will just disappear. Lip liner is an essential at this time of year. I used Mac Stone and just like blended it out of it. But I'm just going over the top with the pinky brown what is it called the yeah pinky brown lip liner and this shade is just like this was made for me quite frankly like, i think i could put this all over my lips and just be very very happy with it i think this would look gorgeous with a gloss over the top maybe we'll try that i kind of wanted to show you a new lipstick i've been liking as well which i don't think i've 
I think I showed you yet. And the best thing about it, I realised this yesterday when I was filming my TikTok beauty haul. You can twist it up. Oh, God, that is just a game changer. I don't have any other lip liners that you can do that with. That is insane. And it does mean it just stays looking like nice. Like I hate when you have like a Charlotte Tilbury liner that you love and you've like, it, you're just seeing it get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it just looks really sad. And then you end up losing things when they get that small. Um, so I really like that design. I've been using this lipstick from Merit Beauty in the shade Baby. Love the name. I know, and you know when you see a lipstick name, you just know you're gonna like uh, the color. So it's a little bit cooler than the pinky brown lip liner, but actually very close to this color. Slightly more like mauve but it's really beautiful. Really nice for winter, I think. Yeah, just so nice. And it's a really nice like creamy, but not glossy finish. Well, it is a little bit glossy, but not like super glossy, if that makes sense. Like over that lip liner, it's not giving too much sheen. And I really like that. I'm tempted to go over with a little bit of the Dior lip oil but I kind of don't want to ruin it because I'm quite enjoying that so TBC. I'm gonna go in with the Merit Beauty Lengthening Mascara and I already have a q-tip at hand for this because it gets a little bit messy but it's worth it. Look at it, honestly look at it. <sighs> so it doesn't have the separation that the Glossier Lash Lick which you guys will know I love so much gives but it just has a different look to it. The Glossier Lash Lick, you can make it look, if you want to, like you're not wearing mascara. This looks like you're wearing mascara, but it also looks like you're wearing mascara, but you have naturally insanely long lashes that have mascara on them. Like, that is just wild. Love. Okay. I actually didn't make as much of a mess today. Maybe it just takes a bit of getting used to. First time I used it, I was so messy. It was crazy. That's my makeup for today done. Those are a few of my new bits in action. I have to say, I've smashed it with these bits. Damn, that man makes a good cup of tea. How would, I just don't understand how you can be bad at making tea, but I am. Mm. Honestly. So this is my outfit of the day today. Um, this is actually a new dress from Reformation. I had just been really wanting a black dress, like a simple black dress that I could wear during the day for so long. And this one is gorgeous. It's actually like a cashmere dress and it's got this little collar detailing, um, but it's not too noticeable. So for me, I just really wanted a very plain dress and I was concerned that this would be super noticeable, but it's really, really not. Um, especially when I wear my hair down, like you can't see it, but they also don't like flap about or interfere really too much at all. Um, it's got a little side slit and the arms are really long, which again, I love. The length is really good. Something I very rarely ever say about things. The length is really good um, and it's like a ribbed, knit in a cashmere it's gorgeous i got a size extra small so this is how it fits it's still like not tight it's not tight at all which is fab um but i went with an extra small because i was worried about the length and i'm glad i did because it's actually very stretchy and it's got so much room to spare so you can definitely take your regular size just wearing it with a pair of tights these are black ones from zara that i bought quite a while ago just because i was in there and i didn't have a black pair of tights um and then i've paired it with a pair of monica Vinader gold earrings i can't remember where my slippers are from but i don't think they make them anymore because i've tried to link them before and they're just gone that is today's outfit i'm just so happy to be in an actual outfit like oh uh, i've i've been wearing so many layers around the house because it's just been so cold and so miserable and so rainy so i just when it's raining i really don't bother with outfits and yeah it's just it makes me quite sad because i love getting dressed in the morning. Like I find dressing so fun. Um, so yeah, it's really like boosted my mood today. Super happy with this. Also, I have the world's smallest house update, but something that I really did want to show you. And that's partly because I need your advice. So I have moved my bench out of the living room because lots of you remember it used to be here, which I loved. And I know everyone's gonna say this is too empty now, but actually, just bear with me because for work like it's nice to have this wall free and I was always moving this out here anyway. I moved the bench out here when we put the Christmas tree 
in this area here and that chair moved to like here and I actually loved it so much that I haven't ended up moving it back. Um, at first it was literally like a nightmare and it was just housing post, but um, towards Christmas, once I dealt with all of that, I put these bits on it and now I love it and I don't want to get rid of it. And there's plenty of room in the hallway to like move about. So I'm super happy with all of this. I actually love the pop of color in like what is quite a sometimes gloomy space. It's really nice right now, but can often be a bit gloomy. Um, and the, having the candle there is really nice because it is just, I don't know, it's a nice vibe. But what I want is like a big bowl, like a big kind of maybe rustic bowl to go here because basically my boyfriend is a nightmare and can't keep hold of his keys and his wallet and everything. And they'll always just be in random places in the house. Please tell me someone else's partner does this. So what I wanted was a really gorgeous bowl but that could house our keys and his wallets. Will it just end up housing crap though? That is the question really, isn't it? Um, but I would love to have like a big, gorgeous, rustic kind of bowl. Yeah, I would love to know like if you have any recommendations for places that do like gorgeous giant bowls like that. Like I would love to know. I have just spilled tea everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, who let this former baby be an adult? Seriously. <laughs> So much valuable tea has been lost. <laughs> anyway, I have been thinking a lot lately about, obviously because it's January and this is what we do in January, I've been thinking a lot lately about what I want to do this year and I made myself a vision board as I do every year, which I think is really nice because um, I actually, I don't set mine as my screensaver because my screensaver is just me and Ryan because I was protesting the fact that I wasn't his screensaver anymore and it was um what did it it was then the dog which was fine and then it turned into a photo of a bike and I was like nah too far mate like if it's not the dog and it's not me like no so now we both have like matching screensavers that's gonna make me sound like a slight freak but it's more of a joke like it's an on it's a long running joke he changes his screensavers to like bad photos of me all the time like one time it was a photo of me but with like a beard Honestly, um, so there's long running jokes about the types of screensaver that he has before anyone goes off that I'm a massively controlling girlfriend. There's like lots of long running jokes around the screensavers. But anyway, I don't set a vision board as my screensaver, but I actually put it somewhere else that I, on an application that I like look at every single day. And it's one that my whole team can view as well. So across the board, we are all uh, met with the vision board every single day. So I always really enjoy doing that. And yeah, I've just kind of been mapping out what I want to do this year. And it actually ended up being a bit more of a like, I would say roughly a two year plan. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why, even though I probably shouldn't be telling you this, like everyone always is like, you just shouldn't talk about this stuff in YouTube videos. But I actually really want to talk about this in YouTube videos because I enjoy being very open and honest. And I, just feel like I'm at a very specific point in life that I think is very that I think lots of people I know are in where I'm not in that I don't want kids camp but I'm also not having them yet so I, I fall into this like limbo phase which I sometimes kind of struggle with um, because I don't like waiting for things but I also don't want that to happen yet so I'm kind of like trying to enjoy a limbo phase, which I don't normally enjoy, but it's something that I can't pretend that I'm not in this limbo phase because I actually do need to kind of like pre-plan and pre-think and you know, um, being self-employed, I feel like I really do have to plan when it comes to having a family. But anyway, to come back to my point, a lot of my goals this year are based on the fact that Ryan and I will have a family at some point. And as much as you can never be ready, because I am well aware that um, from what the majority of people have said to me is you just you will never be ready for what is about to come so I'm fully you have to let go in that respect however there are lots of things that I can kind of take control of but not necessarily even take control of also enjoy in the meantime um, so the next couple of years for me are really about putting everything that I have into my work life and really getting the most enjoyment out of my personal life as well. This might be longer than a couple of years, I really don't know, but definitely, definitely a couple of years. And a lot of my goals this year, like a lot of the brands I want to work with, a lot of the trips that are on my like um, vision board, like one of them I think might already be in the works. I literally put it on my vision board and two days later, someone was like, do you wanna come and do this? And I was like, 
this is wild yes oh my god make a vision board people seriously make a vision board so yeah over the next couple of years there's a lot of like bucket list things that i am really determined to tick off because of this because it's something that i'm like oh i won't be able to do for like maybe another 10 7 10 years if i do have children and i'd rather i want to do it sooner like in this limbo time like let's make this limbo phase really really enjoyable and um, obviously the loft conversion is high higher up on our list this year but you all already know about that and but yeah very boringly a lot of my goals and aspirations for the next year are literally like ticking things off like bucket list things off of my career and my travel slash experiences list and i also want to try and make sure i am like set up uh, as best I can as possible in order to like take that slight step back for a little while I would love to have a separate income that isn't online that isn't completely based on me showing up and showing my face even though I will continue to do it I would love for there to be like a couple of things on the go by the end of the next couple of years I mean this is why I shouldn't be telling you this because it might not happen or I might change my mind or things might fall through I just I don't really know and I guess this is why people are so cagey with their um, and I'm still going to be cagey to a certain extent but um this is why people are so cagey with their goals because it's like it is a bit of a like oh I said I really wanted to do this and now it's not happening and now oh, people are gonna like wonder why you know all of that stuff but I would love to have a separate business I would also love to help someone that I know start a business and just kind of be a silent partner but someone who is already like doing really well at something and just kind of like helping them with that next step I would really love to do that obviously that person needs to be someone that I know and really trust and um, it's something that I've already explored over the past year as well so that's something that over the next couple of years I am going to lean quite heavily into so there's a lot of like work things on my list this year which I feel like is very unexciting to tell you guys about because it's just not it's just not as fun really is it as when like your favorite creator is like doing something fun like I don't know I guess like the house renovations or you know like people love watching family stuff I actually don't love watching family stuff but I think it's because I don't have one so I don't find it particularly relatable maybe that will change but yeah i would really like set myself up so that i can be as family oriented as possible in the future i had two parents that worked full time when i was really young and if i'm very honest like i remember feeling the strain they were under um and i know that it's so common and so many people experience it well this lighting is really I need to like sit back. I need to be here. Hang on. I know that's not an uncommon experience by any means. Um, but I would love to set myself up so that especially as a self-employed woman, I can take like maternity leave in whatever way that means to me, whether it's like just working a little bit less or I don't really know what it looks like because it come it will come down to my personal choice at the time. But I would just love to set myself up so that I am hopefully not as stressed as I remember my mum and dad being when I was young like my dad um was a plumber so he was self-employed and my mum worked full-time in her office role and I remember the strain that they were under and I really felt it and because of that I want to and I this maybe is really unrealistic but I want to try and work my hardest over the next couple of years to set myself up as best I can so that my children maybe don't feel like that like when i'm pr when i'm with them i'm present and i'm super invested in them and what they have to say and what they're doing and maybe you just as a parent you're like i don't really care about peppa pig and maybe i won't be like that there's me trying to think of a children's tv show when i actually have no idea yeah so if you see me fully grafting for the next couple of years and you're wondering why i'm doing it that is why um, and that's just my key focus really aside from the fact that my work is just cool and I freaking love it and to be honest since I don't know I felt really lost for a really long time online but over the last since like September last year I just felt so good and so positive and like I really had direction again i'm gonna need to move back again wow the light I'm, the light is chasing me is that better who knows i can't remember where i was but anyway i'm really excited for um the next year the next couple of years just to see 
kind of what happens what unfolds um i'm excited just to have like this year's gonna be really fun like we've got some good weddings this year i'm just looking forward to lots of like really lovely memories with my favorite people so this year is definitely it's always just been one that i've been like this is gonna be like a super fun year but it's also now going to be like a super fun but super work oriented year and i'm so looking forward to it but personally there is something that i really want to do this year and i thought i would float this by you guys this is why i wanted to sit down and kind of have this chat with you because i want to know from people that have done it not just opinions from people that haven't done it because um that's just not i just don't find that particularly helpful um unless you're a doctor then i do find it helpful this year i would love to have some like how do i say this this year i would love to have my fertility tested this is something that i am literally so curious about at the moment i spoke to my mum about it the other day and she is i think she's just on the edge of being a boomer or she's just solidly a boomer i can't remember but that just kind of wasn't really a thing at the time and she i think she had me at 28 so she just kind of like cracked on and then she had my brother at 34 and she just never really had to like think about these things and it also just wasn't really like spoken about at that point even though she was quite late to the game compared to all of the other mums for having kids but it's very normal now what she did in her generation it just wasn't talked about it wasn't a thing so she has like limited experience of i'm gonna move because this light is <laughs> crazy hang on we're just gonna go sit on the sofa i thought i'd be all cute and aesthetic in my uh chair and it's just not working <sighs> quite nice actually what's this hair doing honestly i'm just gonna look a bit of a mess whilst i chat to you but where was i she yeah she just didn't really have much experience of it but she wasn't like i thought she was gonna be like don't bother doing it it's pointless but she wasn't but i still am like super curious and just i yeah i kind of want to know and i have spoken to a few friends and they're like yeah i'd also love to know and i'd love to know like uh, like i would like to know if you can tell how long you have if you have these tests i am super curious about the whole process i don't think i would go as far as to have my eggs frozen we're not talking like that level because i listen to a lot of um people like in the us talk about having their eggs frozen and stuff and i don't think i i don't think it's necessary to go that far but i would love to know from anyone that has done it if you felt like it was worth it like do you get enough information like will they just say yeah you're fertile or are they like yeah you're fertile this is the quality of your eggs this is how long we predict the reserves will last or can they not tell you that because legally like that leaves them open to something i don't know it's something that i am very keen to do this year for my peace of mind um for anyone that doesn't know if you joined me over christmas because loads of you joined me over christmas thanks for joining and sticking with us i'm 31 so still like in a good spot i guess but yeah i'm just very conscious and i would just love to know if anyone has any experience of this did it help was it worth it yeah and if i do it do you want to come along on the ride with me like i'm just super intrigued and i know i shouldn't be telling you this like everyone is always like just don't talk about like everyone in the industry not everyone in my life people in my life are like talk about these things because it's just what we talk about when we're like sat around but everyone in the industry is like just don't talk about having kids or anything like that because um you just leave yourself open to a lot of crap online but i just feel like you either are in the camp where you have children online or you don't want them and i'm not seeing anyone talk about the in the middle bit and it's the bit that i'm the most curious about so i can't learn from anyone online so basically i'm happy to be the guinea pig and i also want to learn from you guys because i just feel like you all have so much knowledge and there must be someone that watches me that can maybe give some advice so i'm just i'm super open to learning is it worth it what was your experience what did you think i don't know if i sound really stupid like asking this like kind of just wanted to like voice it first because normally i would ask my mum about stuff like this but obviously it's not something she has been through or needed yeah so basically i'd just love to know has anyone done it did, 
because you were in the same situation did you find it helpful should i wait until closer to the time or is it worth doing now i would love to know but yeah that's kind of where i'm at um and i know so many people will be watching this screaming being like don't talk about when you're having kids blah 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 but i have come to the realization that if something bad happens say like i did these tests and i got bad news or say we were trying and it really wasn't going well or something bad happened i would be sad and then i would i would tell you guys because i can't pretend to be happy online if something is upsetting me this is why i'm just i'm just gonna chat about this openly i'm gonna like like i'm not gonna tell you when i decide to start trying to have a family i'm not going to give you a deadline i'm not going to give you like specifics i'm also not going to pretend that it's not happening because for me i am just terrible at keeping secrets and it just doesn't feel genuine to me and i find it much easier to show up this is my job obviously i find it much easier to show up to work every day if i I'm just always open and honest and I don't feel like I have anything to hide. Like if there are situations where I can't tell you guys things, I just immediately find vlogging 10 times harder and I'm not happy doing it. And, and really that's a very important part of vlogging. That's my questions. Thank you for coming to my TED talk on the limbo phase of life. I am now so comfortable that I don't wanna get up. This is why this corner of the sofa is so dangerous. This giant pillow, I got it from Zara Home. Did I go? Yeah, Zara home a really long time ago now. Like 2020, 2021, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I am out on my stupid mental health walk of the day whilst it is uh, dry and it looks bloody lovely today. For those of you that don't know I live by the sea uh, and this is my stupid mental health walk and I love it. I love it so much. It's one of the reasons why I was so glad that we didn't end up moving because I would have missed this so badly. excuse me speaking if I'm a bit lispy because I have my brace in. I've got the big bottom one in so extra lispiness all around here. I always get super distracted when I've got guests here so I didn't check in but I had a really lovely evening. I'm just in bed now with the wee shrimp and I'm not feeling great. I think I'm due on. I've got some stomach pain so I'm just gonna like chill in bed. I am starting a new book. It's by Lucy Foley. I loved her other book that I read which was the hunting party um, is it the guest list oh my god i can't remember i'm gonna have to google let's say in the book oh yeah the guest list it's on it's literally on the front honey that's silly of me the hunting party and the guest list and i think those are the only two that i've read but i really liked them and i think i'm gonna love this one it's set i think it's set in paris so you'd hope by the title and um and i actually bought this quite a while ago and i've just been dying to read it but the end of last year was so busy i didn't get the chance i'm gonna make a start on that now seeing as i am just like in a lot of pain and that's gonna be where i leave this vlog i think i think it's already quite long it's best i leave it here because we don't need like an hour and a half vlog but i hope you have enjoyed this little sunday upload let me know do you like the sunday upload i would love to know i put the feelers out on uh instagram and lots of you a few of you said like please stick to monday because it's good 
for you like mentally to have a break on the weekend honestly i don't get a break on the weekends i spend most of the weekend editing for the monday anyway aside from those people the majority of people said sunday let me know do you like the sunday upload i would love to hear your feedback if you still like watching on a monday or that monday is your available day i guess you can still watch on the monday but i was toying with it because i was thinking about how i actually have more time to watch youtube on a weekend at the moment so i kind of wanted to um ask you guys how you felt me and my lisp are officially gonna go now i hope you've enjoyed this vlog love you bye